What up guys, your boy Aki checking here with another video. Now you guys are like, why the hell are you in the bathroom? Well, I'm just showing you guys a little bit of what I'm working with after the quarantine. Uh, they actually just lifted the quarantine uh, in terms of just opening up barbershops for us in Virginia uh, this past Friday. So I had to set up an appointment, got to go get something done with this, look better, feel better. So as I was driving to the barber shop, I actually looked back at a past deal in my city that I missed out on, and this was actually from a bandit sign lead uh, about, I want to say, seven or eight months ago. And I looked and saw what it sold for, and it just hurt my stomach. Uh, it was a lead where I got under contract, I got another investor in town to go on the appointment for me he actually lowballed and I did not get the deal where the investor that did get the deal he bought it um, it was pretty much a wholesale that could have sold for maybe a hundred grand more than it was bought for and it was just totally uh, totally something that I missed the boat on and <laughs> sick to my stomach seeing shit like that but hey every you know negotiation isn't a good negotiation every time you get a deal like that like, at least that's worthwhile in my opinion um, it's worth going on that appointment on um, and that's definitely something I should have done um, but yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a little update what I was thinking about, what I saw when I was driving. All right, and just pulled up to the barber shop. That's what we're dealing with right now, man. No good. All better. All right, guys, so we're back here at the property, and here's another look at the cut right there. You guys let me know what you think in the comment box below. So, tomorrow, we got the siding getting taken care of. It's gonna be uh, just some simple white vinyl that's going over top of that. Gonna put some insulation board over top of that. This door right here is coming down. Uh, here is a last dumpster. So we've already had four dumpsters already come through. And uh, this is actually one of the smaller dumpsters that uh, you can get. Um, if you guys remember, there was a shed right here and we just totally ripped it down. We got another uh, shed of some sort up there that we're gonna get taken down as well. Um, so here's what the back of the house looks like right now. As you can see right here, we still need to get all that covered up, um, insulate it, and then get some more uh, vinyl siding on it, and it's gonna look excellent. So we had a like the landscaping right now obviously it's grown back up a little bit but that's all good there was a huge tree right there. there's a stump right there and that was a huge issue so big value add right there uh, i'm just gonna clean up the landscaping and this honestly is gonna be the last time that we're gonna be at the property um until you know we actually sell it um so that's that's pretty exciting I've had this property literally under contract since February. Um, and just due to everything that happened within um, just the whole world economy, it just kind of changed up things that we wanted to do with the property. And so, you know, I'm saying all that to say, you know, you never know what can go on with um, the world. All you can really do is buy these deals right, control what you can control and be able to um, be able to handle um, and be able to deal with rather risk you know this right this deal right here was kind of risky but you know that's that's kind of see got to replace all that that's that that's kind of what you deal with um, I knew that this was a good deal just off rip just because the house right across the street is literally assessed at two times what this is assessed at and that one although it was built in 2009 is uh is in the same vicinity so when this house is totally fixed up that means that you know it, it's gonna be within 
the same realm. If it's on, it's on the same street, it's within the same neighborhood, then you're able to sell it um, at a much, much higher price. So, um, although we're not taking this thing all the way to the finish line, this is gonna be about 80% of the way there. We're gonna go inside right now so you guys can see a little bit what I'm talking about. Um, but the little things that are gonna have to be done is things like um, simply updating the electrical. It's things like just refinishing the floors, things like painting, uh, finishing up the bathrooms and the kitchen, updating those, um, and taking it to the full finish line. So um, not what I really want to put my time into right now, um, but the whole tail did cost me quite a bit. I'm definitely gonna come off ahead, much ahead. Um, the thing is with a whole tail is you have to uh, keep in mind where it's worth it, for, worth it for you or not. Fucking bird under here. So you have to uh, see whether or not it's worth it for you to invest your money in certain things. So let's take a look at the house and uh, yeah. So beautiful hardwood floors, uh, nice little fireplace here. So old lighting fixture definitely needs to be replaced. Walls need to be uh, plastered up a little bit, painted over. But overall, just really, really, really good condition. This was an office that for some reason the guy had cleaned out, did not clean out all the way. So that's why we have this last dumpster. But take a look at this whole living room format, really, really clean. And this house is about uh, 3,200 square feet and pretty big for our area in terms of just the traditional uh, home size, traditional ranch in our uh, neck of the woods of Virginia is about, and here's a kitchen, some old vinyl definitely would come up for somebody that wants to update this, but uh, it's traditionally about 1,200 square feet, old cabinets, as you can see, um, and we're going to have some clean ladies come through this week and get all this cleaned up, you know, really looking clean, and honestly, old fixture here if we were to do this you know we were talking about just taking this wall down completely uh kind of just closed in for no apparent reason probably take down this cabinet right here make a big opening here um so that the floor plan is a little bit more open this fridge right here is 100 percent out of place um it kind of clogs the kitchen up the fridge was traditionally right here, you can tell, just by the space right under that cat, uh, that cupboard. Um, and we were talking about just cutting this, cutting this open right here, you know, taking away this whole uh, space for snacks and just pushing the refrigerator back into there, which would make 100% sense. potential and there's a bunch of boxes from the last time we were here bathroom 100% needs to be updated old tile you know um, but really really good shape um, definitely something that Somebody who would want a home at a discount for the neighborhood, loves the schools, is going to be able to pay, you know, a reasonable price where it was worth it for us to, uh, you know, do what we did. And this is uh, just like a fifth of the books that we had in here. I mean, we took trailers and trailers and trailers of books to my partner's house. Um, and then here's some... Um, more stuff that did not get thrown away. I'm not 100% sure why, but needs to be thrown away. This is the upstairs. And check out all this storage space that these people have. So 
this right here storage space. I mean, just, and here's an, uh, another closet here. And then even more storage space. I mean, just tons of storage space. Tons. And so the 3200 is only counting, only counting the livable square footage. And we have settling over here. And this actually could be a duplex because there's plumbing right there. So and this could be a kitchen up here. And the bathroom here. Obviously the bedroom. And then even more storage behind here. This light is out, so but just believe me, tons of storage. <laughs> and one idea I had for this property was to do a uh, 1031, you know, live in it for a little bit, take my time fixing it up, adding value as time goes on. But this, the one problem with this property, I would say for me personally, in terms of not doing 1031, um, and probably easily, easily, easily making. Uh, well over six figures, probably around the 130 to 160 mark, um, was just the uh, length of time that it would take me to get where I needed to go on a consistent, everyday, daily basis. And for me, that 100% was not worth it. Um, not, not, uh, here is the basement. Not being able to get where I need to go on a consistent basis was a real uh, hiccup. It takes way, way, way too long to get where I needed to go, which was not cool. Not a lot of stuff here, a lot of this stuff here. Um, I've already, already have, uh, and this is where the gutter fell down outside, guys. So no longer leaking, um, getting that sealed, and I'm going to put that gutter back up, paint over that. But overall, uh, we're, we're pretty much pretty much done here. Um, did what we had to do. Edit the value and left the product in a space where someone could have an easy time doing what they need to do. It's pretty much a layup for someone that's handy or for someone that wants to refinance uh, after the uh, improvements are made. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And um, if you have any questions about where I got this cut at, uh, leave that in the comment box below too. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm really, really, really excited about this deal. Um, it took me a couple months to really um, get everything done just because of uh, just lack of focus on my part, lack of uh decision on my part i didn't know if i wanted to do a whole flip or if i wanted to do a whole tail and uh for me personally uh, i'm not going to go the whole way and finish the whole project if it's not guaranteed that i will make as much if not more um selling it now just because of where we are in the market then holding on a little bit longer um taking it all the way to the finish line and not being able to um, get the profit target profit that I wanted. target profit for this is probably going to be no less than 50 um, probably as high as 70 and if I were to fix it up um, if the market continued to go up how it was you know before all this virus stuff started happening honestly I could see myself easily making over 80 or 90 K on this property but just due to everything that's going on, it's probably to be probably better to be safe than sorry. 
you know, if I had a crystal ball back in February, I could have sold it right away for 60. But, um, you know, you live and you learn. Um, my The whole goal with this is to really get done with this property as soon as the end of this week, no later than the end of this week. And um, really focus in on uh, learning some different aspects of real estate. Um, I'm looking at, uh, as you guys know, I've really... Uh, haven't been doing as many whole uh, sale deals, been doing more hotels and looking at different ways to do uh, deals that for me that are more uh, lucrative, that are bigger, that make more sense for me to spend my time on. Um, I've noticed personally in my own business to where um, the smaller the deal, um, the reason why it was small was because of different title issues, different issues in terms of just logistics uh, people wanting to get paid and then on top of that just negotiations on the seller side negotiations on the buyer side and the smaller the deal is actually you can do the same work for the bigger deals and i heard that initially when i first got into the business you know i was so so um quick i wanted to get you know quick success and you know 2k was acceptable you know 5k was acceptable and 10k was acceptable but for me personally that's not that's not acceptable anymore you know um say you want to uh just do a decent sized marketing campaign for something that you haven't done before you know that typically costs two grand and then you got just different expenses you have uh just in life in general say you want to travel somewhere uh that could be 1500 bucks and you know you just have different things there's one thing to have consistent deal flow but for the way i want to run my business i want to keep it small i don't want to have different departments i don't want an office i don't want all that um i don't want to quote unquote uh have this legacy type wholesale business that's not that's not why i got into it i got into it for um for for getting deals that matter i wanted something i want something rather i'm building something that is tangible that i can conceive right now that i can see myself doing um you know part time you know 20 30 hours a week uh if that doing two or three deals um maybe a month or you know no more than 15 to 20 deals a year um but each one of them making a substantial amount of money as opposed to hundreds of deals tons of overhead in an office etc etc <clears throat> you know it's all it all there's no right answer but it all depends on what you want so um yeah um don't let anybody you know sell you the um i guess i should say just mindset and perspective that you have to build this huge business you have to build this huge thing this huge machine because at the end of the day it's one thing to say that you're providing value to uh sellers that you care so much about your employees etc cetera, etc cetera, but really it comes down to selling shit all right guys that's all i got for this video peace